Here speaks for itself. I am not one of the chosen few. I am not a pillar. I am not an original. I am an outsider. I am someone who has come in and taken from the very best AEW had and has become the very best that AEW has. I've changed every company that I've become a part of fundamentally. Tonight, we make some changes for the new championship era is here. Your champion will be waiting. Something more dangerous than anything they've ever seen before. Something better than it. Something that eclipses everything else that is in that pool of contenders. Hangman is trapped, Samoa Joe! The sleeper is locked in! There is no preferential treatment here. You just need to be ruthless enough to seize the prize. There's so much added pressure going into the main event of Dynasty. Not just the fact that it's Samoa Joe across the ring from me and not just the fact that it's the world championship. It's just the fact that I'm the first African-American to main event the AEW pay-per-view for the AEW World Championship. Being the first to do anything is already difficult enough. I mean, just the fact that re representing any type of culture adds pressure. Being the first African-American to do anything in pro wrestling adds pressure. Swerve Strickland, the number one contender for the AEW World Championship. Me being in that position now, from what I witnessed growing up watching on television. One step away from making it a reality. It's very eye-opening. There's a gravitas to this that I can't even put into words. All I can really do is take things one step at a time and try to make things different and to not just be a moment, but to be like a movement. That's my goal, and that's what this pressure is. It is Swerve Strickland. Oh, wow, the crowd already giving us the Who's House, Swerve's House up in here. We've got all of our fans making their way here inside the building, getting set for that main event. Swerve Strickland taking on Samoa Joe for the AEW World Championship. These two obviously very familiar with each other at this point. But we just heard from Swerve. How much pressure is he putting on himself coming into this match? Is it too much? A tremendous amount because he's gotten so close before. Yep. With, there's that three-way match they had with Hangman man and Joe he was not able to win the championship there but he's counteracting that with so much confidence he threw out the pitch at the St. Louis Cardinals game and he had a replica AEW World That's Championship on risky. his shoulder. That's risky. Very risky move mm -hmm. to be doing that but let's talk about Samoa Joe as a champion how rock steady he has been leading the charge here for AEW this man is a living legend calling Swerve a choke artist what's your reaction to that? <laughs> it's kind of true. There's been a lot of big opportunities for Swerve. I mean, even since back to Wembley, yep. he got put in the coffin. Yep. He's got to get it right tonight or else Joe will eat him up. But you know what Swerve said to me last week on Dynamite is how he has that mentality to not back down to it from a fight, to get up every single time that he is knocked down. And tonight he knows how much is on the line. He could be making history tonight to become the first ever African-American AEW world champion live on pay-per-view tonight. Who do you think walks away the champion? Oh, boy. This may be Swerve's house tonight. It could be. The people are already calling for him. So I cannot wait to see that tonight in our main event. But let's talk about this other matchup that everybody is dying to see. We've got the GOAT versus the GOAT. Billy versus Brian, the American Dragon versus the Aerial Assassin. Who will be crowned the best to ever do it? I thoroughly believe right now in my heart of hearts, the 21st century, I am the greatest wrestler that it has produced. With my arrival in AEW, I've been on this weird little quest for the best. This is a very interesting development. Danielson coming out here. I'm sure he respected and loved that match. I wish I was that good when I was 30. He goes out there and it's live or die for him. He's been screaming into the camera how he's the best wrestler in the world. And he came here to prove it. Our attitude toward wrestling has been very similar. I just view Brian as the tippy top. This is like the S tier professional wrestler. The longevity, I've witnessed it as a child. I've actually witnessed it all. I watch somebody like Will Ospreay. I get excited to test myself against him. Why? 
want to give you a chance to prove it. While I respect him, and he, he's generally a role model, I'm not here to kiss his ass. I'm here for a fight. I'm here to prove to everyone that I'm the best wrestler in the world. Osprey, what do you say? Well, a dream match by anybody's standards. Yes, what? I cannot emphasize enough how excited I am for this match tonight. You know, I passed uh, Brian earlier in the hallways tonight. And this man, I mean, I've known Brian for a very long time, but there is just this aura around this man right now as he has made it very evident that he is looking to wrap up his in-ring career, but he is knocking off the best of the best of the best and Will Ospreay absolutely being that. How do you think tonight is going to go? Look, I was there last night when Brian Danielson was in that bunkhouse brawl he was bleeding. I don't know what he's thinking. Quite frankly, I think his passion for this business is overtaking his logic. I think he's not coming into this fresh, but I know that Will Ospreay is. That is very scary to think, though. You think of Brian, you think of the things that he's already been through in the last year with the, the broken arm, the broken orbital bone, mm -hmm. to now be going into this match after having that bunkhouse match last night. I mean, the guy knows no bounds. But let's talk Will Ospreay here. We know he is the aerial assassin. What does Brian have to do in order to kind of ground Ospreay? Can he do that tonight? You can't. I would just try to move out of the way, lest we forget not only is Osprey such a fantastic wrestler, he's also got the mind of Don Callis behind him right now. I got to go back to the pressure here, though, because Will Ospreay, this is another huge testing ground for him. We know over the 12 years of his career how amazing he is. We all know the lore of Will Ospreay, but tonight he is not willing to say that he is the best until he beats Brian. There's a lot of pressure on him tonight as well. He said he's coming for that throne, but I do not think Brian Danielson is ready to give it up. Oh, I cannot wait to see mm -hmm. this matchup tonight. This is a huge treat for everybody that is tuning in to the pay-per-view tonight. You guys can actually scan this code that's on our screen right now to get that pay-per-view. You guys don't want to miss a second of this. This is going to be the best of the best. We're the best wrestle. I'll say, and will Pack blame it on the rain tonight? Who knows? It is the bastard against the Rainmaker Okada with the Continental Championship on the line. All Elite Wrestling! I told you! I warned you! I am done waiting for opportunities that I deserve. Now I take matters into my own hands. I am on a mission to remind everybody exactly who I am. And what I am is better than you. Okada, Japanese superstar. Champion. I'm calling you out, Bonnie lad. Do you think you can survive the bastard? Because I don't. I will eagerly await a response. How do you change the world? Sign the Rainmaker. A seven-time former IWGP heavyweight champion. Kazushka Okada. Pack! I accept your challenge. We're talking about a movie star good looks. Mm -hmm. Rock star charisma. I have a perpetual headache. Kazuchika Okada leaving no doubt. That serves as motivation to remind everybody I am the best bloody professional wrestler on the face of planet Earth. If there is anybody that can cut Okada's reign short, it is Pac. An AW dynasty. I'm coming for you. This is a big fight feel night for Kazuchika Okada, his first uh, defense as our as our continental champion. But he is not, uh, he's very familiar with this environment. The man has defended the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship 11 times at Wrestle Kingdom. For people that are a little less familiar with Okada, what can they expect from this version of him? He is a big match player. Mm -hmm. He's got the utmost confidence. He's got the, the brain, the aptitude for this all. Having he said that he has never wrestled Pac before and Pac's style is completely different to the thinking man's game of Okada. Uh, to just the moment when Pac showed up to make himself known back here in AEW he was not around for some time we've seen him back in the ring but this is a huge moment for him as well do you think that he is up to the task and let me just also add I think Pac never looks like he misses a step, but chime in. He only comes back when he's ready. He only makes his choices when he's ready to make them. The last pay-per-view we were at, a vignette aired that Pac was coming back, and I knew we were going to be in a lot of trouble, and I think we are. Who is going to walk away the Continental Champion tonight? I got to say 
Pac might have an umbrella. You think he's going to do it? I think he might thwart off Okada. I can't believe I'm even saying this. I feel like the Rainmaker is just going to remind everybody here in St. Louis and around the world exactly why he was one of the biggest signees we could ever get here in AEW. Cannot wait mm. for this match tonight. That is going to be live here tonight on pay-per-view. But we've got gold on the line all night here at Dynasty. We've got the international title on the line. Two men who have their careers have intersected and run parallel. Tonight they battle. It is Roderick Strong versus Kyle O'Reilly the International Championship. My relationship with Kyle O'Reilly dates back to 2009. We end up becoming buddies. We travel the world together. We have each other's backs. But no greater moment than when my son was born and then when his daughter was born. I was willing to stay far away from the international title. And then, things change. I should have seen it coming a mile away. We never cared about friendships. You decided you wanted to show up and steal my spotlight. I became a champion. I became a threat. The band of brothers that were welcoming you with open arms are going to end you. I'm coming to St. Louis to knock your head off, Roddy. When you step foot in the ring with me, I am going to break you. You guys have mistaken my kindness for weakness for too long. And I'm leaving at the International Championship. I'll be coming for you. This is the first singles championship matchup that Kyle O'Reilly has had in eight years. That is huge. Keep in mind that for the last two years, he has been sidelined with injury, unsure if he was ever even going to return to the ring. Talk to me a little bit about Kyle O'Reilly's uh, injury and getting back to the ring. So he had his neck fused. Not a good thing at all. And then he wakes up from surgery and his doctors tell him, hey, sorry, you developed a palsy and you can't use your right arm. He had to learn how to use his right arm again. Mm -hmm. And in that time, he had a baby. He realized he was a great father. And, and I don't know why he's potentially sacrificing all that to face Roderick Strong tonight. He loves this business so much. He loves being inside that ring. But now going up against Roderick Strong, Undisputed Kingdom, they're going to be a factor tonight? Always. Always will be. Guys, a lot's happening here tonight at Dynasty. Plenty more on the line. Like will Hook chop down the learning tree of Chris Jericho under an FTW rules match with the title on the line tonight. Hook, after being in the ring with you. Hook's first pinfall victory over a massive star. You exceeded the expectations. If you want any advice that I have, I'll be happy to give it to you. Of course, I'll take advice from you, Chris Jericho. But you are Chris Jericho. You know who you are. Little incidental contact there. The argument between Hook and Chris Jericho. Gotta go for your help. Get out of here. I want to explain myself to Hook. Can you do me a favor and please ask him if he'll talk to me? I'm doing this all for you. I want us to sail to the highest of heights together. So what do you say, Hook? No. Don't be stupid. So relax. Hey, relax. relax. Stop. Just stop, okay? I need to help you get rid of all this dead weight that's been surrounding you your entire life. I don't need your help. Chris, you get him? Want to see how good I am? I'll show you again. The learning tree is going to teach you one of the hardest lessons. I'm going to beat you for the FDW Championship, but it's going to hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt you. And we've got the FTW Championship. Kind of reminds me of the BMF title uh, in UFC, which we just saw UFC 300. Max Holloway with that insane knockout of Justin Gaethje. Do you think that these two absolutely tear each other to par apart tonight with the FTW Championship rules? Did you see their last match in Toronto when Hook kept dropping Jericho on his head? It made me sick to even watch it. The FTW Championship has been BMF before mm -hmm. BMF even existed. <laughs> of course, it was started by Taz. He yes. defended it all throughout the world, number of years, and now his son's holding it, and 
he's been pushed because of it. So here's the thing. We always see Hook so cool, calm, collected. We saw him get a little bit fired up this week. Is that what he needs, or could that be something that actually hinders him in the process? It's not what Chris Jericho needs. I have never seen Hook that angry before. Taz says, you know what? Look, tempers flare, things happen. But honestly, if I were Taz, I'd be pulling for Hook to drop Jericho tonight. 100%. Also, can we talk about all the Swerve House chants that are happening in here tonight? Mm. We know what they're waiting for here tonight. Guys, there's so much happening here at Dynasty. You don't want to miss a second of this pay-per-view. We've got the AEW Women's Championship on the line. Thunder Rosa had to vacate the title just two years ago. Will she reclaim that title? Or will the timeless Tony Storm remain our champion? I was so proud of being a champion on holding that title, but my body couldn't carry me as far as my passion did. So I had to heal. That can't be broken. If I have to break every single bone in my body, I will carry more than that title. Rosa right there just got a victory over the champion. La Mera Mera still fighting like a champion. And I am not gonna stop until I get that back. You don't want this belt back because you once held it. You want it because of everything that I made it to be when you couldn't. This is a business. This is not a charity. Tony Storm, the floor is yours. Toast away. Why hide behind these masks, Thunder Rosa? And the real you is so much more pathetic. I will carry the pride of my people and empower the women you want to uplift women, then you should have stayed a social worker. You may be a fighter, but I am a star. I'm coming for the title, and I'm coming to drag your soul to hell. Hell is in my bedroom, and I make love to my demons every bloody night. Guys, we are going to have a capacity crowd here tonight in St. Louis. You know they're going to be looking forward to that match tonight. AEW Women's Championship on the line. Thunder Rosa, the Meta Meta, taking on timeless Tony Storm. Talk to me about Thunder Rosa and how much is at stake for her tonight coming into this match. She gave up a lot in the last two years. Her last match before she vacated was going to be her against Tony Storm at All Out 2022. It has been 606 days Ooh. since then. It has been a long road of healing and getting back on track, but it looks like Thunder Rosa is really putting the pieces together tonight. Let's talk about the champion. You want to talk about somebody putting the pieces together. We know how incredible Tony Storm is inside that ring, but seeing the words she had last night, I mean, the things she had to say, making love to her demons, all these other, ex I can't even say most of them here. I mean, I guess I can. They aired on our broadcasting. <laughs> Tony Storm that was locked into another level right now. Yeah, it's a level that is beyond anyone else. She is in her own world, and in that world, she completely rules it. Having said that, she has never beaten Thunder Rosa before. She's a little off her rocker, too. I would say. Just a little. Just a tad. Mm -hmm. But I really do not see anybody knocking Tony Storm out of that top spot right now. I feel like she is just on another level than everybody else in that locker room right now. If anyone can do it. It may be the destiny of Thunder Rosa tonight. Very well. Could be. Guys, don't miss any of this. It's all happening live tonight on pay-per-view. And then will the babe with the power bring light to the TBS championship, or will a dark cloud continue to hang over it, courtesy of Julia Hart? Willow. Willow Nightingale, the Dr. Bomb of victory. I shall kill your spark, turn your smile into a frown and make sure you never touch my crown. I'm walking out TBS champion, you bitch. The babe with the power bomb! Oh, look at this, Julia Hart! Oh, Julia Hart from behind. Willow Nightingale is something special. If I belonged and I could make it in wrestling, your cheers reassured me. I am the princess of the Black Throne, keeper of secrets. Does a confident champion 
take a chain and hit their opponent days before their championship match? I don't think so. And it is my destiny to stay the TBS champion. The house always wins. The ladies are on a roll here tonight. So a house rules match here tonight for the TBS championship. Julia Hart with her challenger, Willow Nightingale. Willow gets to decide what the stipulation is going to be. How do you see that shaking out? If I was her, I'd be banning everybody from ringside. Not only sure. do you have to give up Stoke, and Maybe stats. ban Stokely from ringside, too. Well, these things happen. <laughs> I would definitely be banning Brody from ringside. Sure, absolutely. That's I mean, after what sure. we saw last night, no doubt. I mean, Julia Hart wrapping that chain from Brody. Brody King around her hand to just lay into Willow Nightingale. Both of these women, though, have really come into their own over the course of the last six months to a year. I mean, just talk to me about how much they have really stepped up. Well, it's been seven months they've been going at it. They had that brutal street fight in Toronto. Yep. And I really feel like they both evolved their game. There was that whole, will it be Willow? Will it be stat? Willow said, tonight is my night. And if it wasn't pressure enough to have the TBS title on the line, we I also the dance. have... I tried to do the dance. Oy, <laughs> we have Mercedes Monet watching because she will be facing the winner of tonight. A double or nothing. Talk about a pressure cooker situation. I mean, all anyone's been talking about since her arrival mm -hmm. here is Mercedes Monet. We know the legacy that comes with Mercedes to imagine what's going to happen here tonight in the ring with those ladies. Cannot wait to see. Do you have a prediction? Yeah, if the lights go out, bad things are going to happen. <laughs> run, run. Guys, time is ticking down here on Zero Hour. Speaking of the lights going out, let's talk about this trios match. Tonight is Copeland, Kingston, and Briscoe banding together to take on the ominous, brutal trio of House of Black. House of Black, I've been doing this dance with y'all for a little while now, and I'm starting to understand how y'all operate. You try to strike fear into the hearts of men. How tentative Copeland is. Buddy Matthews attacking him from behind. I get it, this TNT championship, it makes me a marked man. But House of Black, you want to get in my business? Go play. I'm doing for your head. We are going to eradicate you from the history of professional wrestling. Well, I tell you what, I don't know if you noticed this, but I got some backer. I got the chicken, I got the mad king, you got the nuts. Why don't you face us April 21st, Dynasty? You guys like to spit mist, do spooky stuff. After Dynasty, y'all gonna be spitting a bunch of teeth. Ancient wisdom says the violent take it by force. Heed my advice, House of Black. Be very afraid. Ha, 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 ha. Adam Copeland, our TNT champion. Eddie Kingston, our New Japan Strong Openweight champion. And Mark Briscoe, our Ring of Honor world champion. All banding together. What was the name again? The Ra rated R Chicken Hawks. <laughs> it's going to be a shirt, I'm sure. How are they all going to gel together tonight? We've got to see a little bit of it, but how's it going to go? Quite frankly, not very well. They aren't right. the most Good. calm, easygoing guys that you want to be on the same page with. You know, Briscoe won his Ring of Honor championship from Eddie Kingston just not a couple that long weeks ago, ago exactly. at Supercard of Honor. They beat the ever-living crap out of each other. Mm -hmm. you got to still be feeling some of the ramifications of that. But if they have one bonding point, it's that they really would like to beat the crap out of the House of Black. <laughs> All right, let's talk House of Black here because they certainly put a target on... Wow, so much love for Swerve here tonight. Clearly. House of Black really put a target on the back of Adam Copeland tonight. Uh, do you think that that was a wise choice? Absolutely. He's been defending his TNT championship. He mm -hmm. defended it against people who aren't even in this company, <laughs> like Matt Cardona. He's he's taken on all comers, and I think it's kind of softened him up oh. for the House of Black tonight. Okay, fair enough. Do you have any prediction who's going to walk away uh, winner tonight? Will it be the team of all the champions or the ominous dark trio of House of Black? House of Black. Uh, Eddie Kings is not a team player. Dang. I said Doing it. Eddie dirty like that. He knows it. All right, guys, time is ticking down here as we are getting closer to going live on pay-per-view. We've got plenty more happening here with Zero Hour. We've actually got some in-ring action coming up here, so stay tuned. But let's talk about live on pay-per-view here tonight. There's going to be controversy. There's going to be personal issues. There's going to be ladders. And the vacant AEW Tag Team Championships. It is all on the line for the Young Bucks and FTR. Uh, we've... 
this is a Tesla Cybertruck. That thing does not come cheap. Weren't these just these three calls? getting paid. Dang. Oh boy, they're taking what, quite what a risk. What is that thing? That's that's a choice. Is it what is. it is. <laughs> it's a strong choice. You are choice. not flying under the radar in that thing. Our EVP showing up in style. These beautiful suits. Where do they keep acquiring these suits? You know, they're not even Don't obeying the parking lot. Quarter of a million dollars for this damn thing. Oh, I was wondering why. Yeah. Did they just recall it? They tried to not mind. You ready for this ladder match? It's time to go three time tag team champions, baby. Hey, yep. You can just sense how big this moment is. Springboard for Cash Wheeler. Oh, the super kick to Ray Nuchamps. FTR beat the Young Bucks at all in London. But there should be a giant asterisk next to that FTR victory. Right before that match, there was a incident. We had to put our EVP caps on and we had to neglect being professional wrestlers. FTR, you have the balls to ask us to shake your damn hands. I am sick of you petty little bitches. Young Bucks, you may have built this foundation, but we will put the roof on top of this house just to blow that son of a bitch right back off. FTRs, you want to do a big ladder match? We made the ladder match famous, boys. Two teams walk in, one team walks out, could call themselves the greatest tag team in the world. This is the true rubber match. We're going to make history because we are going to be the first three-time AEW Tag Team Champions. We're not shaking hands with pricks. Dynasty Zero Hour kicking off here in St. Louis. We have a capacity crowd still filing in here at the Chaffetz Arena, and we are getting the action started right now. Your opening contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Each of us first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 186 pounds, Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel set to go one on one with Trent Barretta to kick off the dynasty. Zero Hour fans, thank you for joining us. I'm Excalibur, joined by Tony Schiavone, the human suplex machine, Taz. We will be with you all hour long until Dynasty comes your way at the top of the hour, live on pay per view, Bleacher Report, YouTube, so many other ways. Triller, TV, PPV.com, and nationwide in your local Dave and Busters as well. And is supported from Long Island, New York. Winning 201 pounds, Trent Beretta. And Tony Schiavone, Trent Beretta, greeted by a chorus of boos, not only because of what he did this past Wednesday night, but because of him throwing away his relationship with Lawrence Cassidy. It was very odd, Excalibur. I, that's the last thing. You, you expect a lot of crazy things to happen in pro wrestling throughout the years, but seeing the breakup of the best friends was the last thing that we thought about, Taz. Uh, no, I totally agree with you guys. It was a shock, shocking thing for sure, seeing Beretta and what has been going on involving him for a couple weeks as far as him breaking away and turning on Orange Cassidy, man. I, it's, it's wild to me. I never thought that would happen. Well, it Taz, I mean, uh, the other thing is that Chuck Taylor seems to be the odd man out. Yeah, you know, it's, he's got a, a longer relationship with Orange Cassidy dating back to their days on the independent scene. But, you know, Trent Beretta, he's it's been his consistent tag team partner for almost the last decade. Yeah, that, that makes it even tougher if you're in Chuck's position. But right now, putting uh, all that other stuff aside, this should be one hell of a wrestling match right here between these two guys, Seidel and Beretta. And Beretta just going across the windpipe of Matt Seidel, starting out very aggressively. These two men, they know each other very, very well. They've faced off in dozens upon dozens of tag team matches, but I believe this may be their first one-on-one -on -one encounter as Seidel comes in. Hork Rana takes down Trent Beretta. Oh, nice. Good job on that kick. Good thing Trent Duck, man, his head would have been gone. Seidel right now is running on the motion. He's a St. Louis native here at home. He's fired up. There's no question about that. So let's see how long he can keep this intensity. Well, you know, it doesn't take much for those that know Seidel to get him intense. He's a pretty intense guy as it is, and he's as advertised. He's really, really tremendous, world-class competitor with that nice drop kick there. And there you see 
The QR code on the bottom of your screen as Seidel executes that splash off the apron. You can scan that code to join us right now on Bleacher Report. Also, Dynasty available in just over 56 minutes. Our two traditional cable and satellite providers, Triller TV, PPV.com, and YouTube.com as well, along with Select actually all Dave and Buster's locations nationwide. Go to DaveAndBusters.com to find your nearest as Seidel driven face first into that middle buckle. That's a tough landing there for Seidel, Shivani. He hit hard. Yeah, and of course, uh, Seidel known as a high flyer. If you can ground him, which is obviously what Trent's trying to do here, you could be successful against him. Whoa, Seidel lands on his feet. Hits the slice, but Reda able to kick out and Matt Seidel inside the ring. Nice Mari Posa. He squashed Beretta with that one. One, two, and Matt, Matt Seidel's brother, Mike Seidel, looking on in ringside. Both men from right here in St. Louis, Tony. Well, Mike and Matt have been a tag team in AEW before, but Matt, of course, has gone on to singles competition. Uh, great seeing Mike here. Got to talk to him a little bit before we started. Yeah, I saw Mike, too. Okay. <laughs> No, I like Mike. I'm joking. He's about him. Mike's I'm, all right. He's a good guy. Well, Trent Beretta. Oh, sheer drop. Brainbuster Seidel immediately clutching the back of his head. And Beretta, look at that look in his face, though, ex Cal. Look at the eyes there. You can see the intensity in Beretta. Yeah, really ratcheting up the aggression since he has parted ways with Orange Cassidy. And remember, Orange Cassidy is going to be in action coming up on Zero Hour. He's going to be teaming with Katsuyori Shibata to take on Lee Moriarty and Shane Taylor of you know, Shane Taylor Promotions. You've got to have another level of confidence and frustration to turn on a good friend like the short Trent to the Orange Castle. So we're not sure which way it is. Not a chance for Sue, which is Trent Beretta's mom. And remember, Trent, he walked out on Sue like he, right when he walked out on Orange Cassidy as well. Blew right past her, went right up the... Uh, the rampway, she turned it low, but we haven't really gotten yeah. her opinion on all this. Oh, but I never walked out of my mom, she double legged me. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm sure you're not. Mm -mm. We have a capacity crowd on hand tonight, still finally into the shape of Serena in St. Louis, Missouri. Home of the Billikens, Tony. The St. Louis Billikens. I've done a basketball game here against St. Louis University. It's a great, great venue right here downtown. Yeah, they got a weird mascot. Looks like a devil, but like a horse face. Looks like Billy Ken Kid from Osaka Pro. So I right yeah. Oh, look at that. Tell you, that's yeah. how you end up looking like a Billy Ken to get kicked in the face like that by Seidel. Watch that throw there. Good job. Brings down Seidel, and immediately it's the side suplex, too. And Seidel able to kick out, but Beretta concentrating a lot of his offense on the back of Seidel's neck, Tony. Yeah, it's a pretty good focus. And again, everything that Trent Beretta does, he, he does with authority. He is so fundamentally sound in the ring as a wrestler. Well, so much experience. Both these men do, but Beretta is in the driver's seat. Oh, but right now, Seidel trying to change gears with those round kicks to the hamstring, and then that chop also. And you know, when Seidel did that, drew my attention Damn. to Trent Beretta on that right knee pad. Still has Orange Cassidy's face on it. That was, a, that wow. was an addition from when they were the best friends in the tag team tournament. That tag team tournament will culminate tonight at Dynasty when the Young Bucks, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, our executive vice presidents, take on FTR, the latter match. Both teams looking to become the first ever three-time AEW World Tag Team Champions. Roundhouse kick avoided. Seidel, though, lands on his feet. And comes back. And this Seidel, so explosive. Excellent stuff here. Question mark kick. Drop Trent Beretta. Seidel covers. Far leg is hooked. And Beretta able to kick out. I like how Seidel will miss a kick like he did, but just spring right back up and kick again. He's so quick with his feet. Yeah, he's got great timing, does Seidel. And again, just like I mentioned about Beretta, when you have that amount of experience that both these athletes have, that, ha that happens. You, you miss something, you know how to counter your own counter. Standing switch there, now a half and half. Nice block by Seidel. Seidel and goes in between, nice cradle, deep cover. And Beretta able to kick out again. Side headlock, Seidel, maybe look at, oh, look at Trevor Beretta just, Fingers up the nostrils of Matt Seidel, and now the half and half Seidel landing awkwardly. 
Uh, it's a short cut that uh, Trent Beretta used that you wouldn't see Trent Beretta use three months ago, four months ago. Oh, Beretta brought Seidel up, only to put him back down with a close on two, and... But you know what? If it brings him, Siobhan, if it brings Trent success, then so what, in my yeah, opinion? You right. know what? I mean, listen, who says you got to be best friends with someone? Yeah, he turned, he stepped. Orange Cassidy in the back, there's no doubt about that. He, he walked away from his own mom. But you can see in his eyes, this guy, is, he's, he's battling himself for Right. But he's a tremendous competitor, and then wins or wins. That's all that matters. So let's see if he can get that win. Chaz, how many best friends you got? None. No. Oh, besides my wife. That's about it. Ooh. Good you save. Know, good yeah, save. Very good that save. That was a quick That's, recovery. Yeah, it sure was. Very press there <laughs> by <laughs> Matt Seidel. But you know, Chaz, I agree with you. Whatever it takes to win, you got to do it, right? And Seidel. Yeah. Going to the top. Could be looking for Meteora. He's got Beretta all lined up. Meteora strikes. Seidel, can he take it? No, Beretta able to get out. Wow. That was close, Shivani. close. Great execution by Seidel. That Meteora a lot of times gets the win. Yes. Seidel's got a lot of moves that no one else uses, like the Mariposa, the air raid press, the Meteora. Not many that you see in AEW use that, that hold of those moves. And his placement, Seidel's placement of different moves is... His move set is is tremendous, hence his success all these years. As Seidel up to the top. Oh, Beretta! Nice job there, Trent. Oof. Driving Seidel face first into that top turnbuckle. Now the hook to the legs, the gun style oh, oh, driver. He spiked him with that. That's One, be it. two, three. No! Oh, oh, wow! I thought he had him too, guys. I thought Trent had it. Man, what a kick out. For the amount of punishment Trent Beretta has put on Matt Seidel's neck, that is an incredible, incredible kick out. Well, you're looking at the face of Trent right now. He's got to rethink the strategy here because he's hitting with just about everything. And fans, you have just about 50 minutes to join us for Dynasty coming your way live at the top of the hour on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report from traditional cable and satellite offers, Triller TV, PPV.com, and YouTube.com. And there's the knee. That's exactly how he ended his friendship with Orange Cassidy. That flying knee strike. And now, look at Beretta. Wow, Trent Beretta, look at him using his shin to get a to choke out. He got a tap out victory there. Yeah. Well, you and Trent Beretta not releasing the hold. And referee Mike Posey is, is demanding that Beretta release the hold. And now, Matt Seidel's brother, Mike, Finally intervening, and that's the only thing I think that Beretta pulling out that, that rare uh -oh, submission uh -oh, hold. Uh -oh. oh, now the shot from behind on Mike Seidel. Yeah, see, again, I get whatever it takes to win a match, but then after it, I don't understand this at all. I don't know what he's trying to prove. I don't know if he's trying to send a message. I think it's more of a message. Now, well, let's oh, Chuck. Chuck Taylor. And Trent Beretta not, not waiting around to hear what Chuck Taylor has to say. Oh, oh, Chuck, I don't know what your problem is, man. I've been trying to text you. I've been trying to call you. You're not responding. And honestly, you're kind of acting like a prick. I'm giving you, until this Wednesday, Dynamite, Jacksonville. You tell me where you stand. You tell me where you stand. Wow, oh, ultimatum from Trent to Chuck for this Wednesday in Jacksonville and Dynamite. Yeah, return. Uh oh, 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 buddy. Trent, you better be careful here, son. Trent's waiting on him. Orange Cassidy better be careful, you know, because he could get a sneak attack right now. And there he is, freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And Trent Beretta. Stuck in between Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor. Where is Trent gonna go? Well, you know, neither man on either side are really trying to attack Trent. They're just looking at him, staring him down. The following is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy and Katsuyori Shibata. Well, Trent's 
skedaddle through that other tunnel there. Yeah, Tess, to my mind, it looked like Trent Barreto was maybe thinking about taking a shot at Orange Cassidy. That is, until he heard Shibata's music. Yeah, no, I, I think you might be right. He was contemplating it, meaning Trent, but Orange Cassidy was standing his own ground, and Chuck was in the ring. And again, interestingly enough, as Orange Cassidy enters the ring, Chuck Taylor exits, not really aligning himself with either Orange Cassidy or Trent Barreto. Now, Chuck was looking at, at Orange as he was walking down the rampway, staring Rumble. at him, but as soon as he got Batman. near the ring, he bailed. So, Rumble. yeah, there's a lot of questions to be answered. And their opponents being accompanied by Anthony Agogo, the team of Lee Moriarty and Shane Taylor. Well, Shane Taylor promotions, they've had a pretty big couple of weeks here in all elite wrestling, taking on some of the heaviest hitters some of the biggest stars in AEW and coming away with a victory two weeks ago at Dynamite in the trios match. It the win over Katsuyori Shibata, Chris Jericho, and the FTW champion Hook. Looking at a couple of the great, great punchers in AEW and Shane Taylor in the go-go. And of course, Lee Moriarty is just a classic wrestler. Yeah, Shane Taylor promotions, that definitely make a noise. Excalibur, I completely agree with you. And Lee Moriarty, while well, he may not have the boxing acumen of Shane Taylor or Anthony Agogo, and I mean, few people do have the boxing, boxing acumen of Anthony Agogo, but Lee Moriarty, an incredible technical wrestler, can mix it up with the best of them. And Anthony Agogo joining us here at the desk, sir. Welcome. It's like uh, Jacksonville days all over again. The governor's back at the commentary desk. Hey, Scalibur, you lucky bugger. Thank you for joining us, champ. You are a bugger, Excalibur. He's Right about that. Don't suck up to me, Tony. No, I'm sorry. Disagreeing. As Katsuyori Shibata, Orange Cassidy, set to face off against Lee Moriarty and Shane Taylor. Looks like Moriarty and Orange Cassidy going to start things out for the respective sides. I would say, Anthony Gogo, a newfound confidence within you, but you've always had that confidence. But this is quite an alliance with there's, you and Shane Taylor. There's nothing Lee. new found about this, Tony. I've always been the governor, the skull cracking, jaw jacking, governor. I'm a bad, bad, bad man, Tony Schiavone. No argument here. As Cassidy and Moriarty, tentative start to this match. Aggressive collar and elbow tie up, Moriarty. Now brings Cassidy Lee's so down. good. Excalibur, tell the world how good Lee Moriarty is. Well, I was saying that uh, what he lacks in, in the boxing acumen, as far as Shane Taylor promotion goes, he more than makes up for in his technical prowesses. Cassidy, though, uses his momentum, rolling back, captures the wrist of Lee Moriarty, Taz. Got wrist control right there. Lee had it first, then Orange got it. And that's the key, where you can control that little joint in your wrist. That Man, that can control a, a man's whole body. Ooh. Nice snap, man, by Moriarty. Now a head snap. We have some of the best technical wrestlers in the world here in AEW, but nobody makes this stuff look as good as Lee Moriarty does. Moriarty tight scissors on the head of Orange Cassidy, but you see Cassidy being very evasive with his feet. And scooting his way free of the grips of Lee Moriarty. So a go go. So you're basically, uh, are you just a hype man for Shane Taylor promotions? <laughs> I'm just, a, I understand your credibility. Nice Matt return, by the way. I'm just curious, man. That's all I'm asking. This is entire, listen, man. You know a bad man when you see a bad I man. I know a bad man. I know you're a bad so man. So don't, don't, this, I'm, I am much more than a hype man. Okay. When I, I get in that sure. when I get in that ring, some damage will be done, Taz. I just want to make sure. I, 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 yeah. You know, I know you a long time. I know that. I just was curious. Just asking a question. Nice reversal there, a reversal attempt by Orange Cassidy, but Moriarty hanging on. And now Moriarty, though, still the grip. Good overhook there, right there, by Lee Moriarty. Control that arm. That's a lot of tension on your rotator cuff and your shoulder when a guy overhooks you like that. It's like an inverted wizard. Mentioned how uh, Shane Taylor Promotions scored the victory over Katsuyori Shibata, Hook, and Chris Jericho. The FTW champion, Hook, will put that title on the line against Lionheart, Chris Jericho, all part of Dynasty. Would you, that moment, Excalibur, was kind of the beginning of the end of uh, the friendship between uh, Jericho and Hook. Dropkick there by Orange Cassidy, Moriarty goes down, and you know, we heard from Chris Jericho last night on Collision Test, he apologized for laying his hands on you, he apologized to Hook, he apologized to you as well, I and mean, do you buy it? Do you buy it from Jericho? Oh, um, not really. I mean, not really. I know Chris uh, 30 years, so not really. 
But uh, it is what it is. No big deal. A little push ain't going to hurt me. I mean, no problem. But he's going to have to deal with Hook later on. And we'll see what happens. Shibata right now. Shibata with the cover. Take it down, Moriarty. Those, uh, I believe, three consecutive uppercuts by Katsuyori Shibata. And Shibata, known by the moniker The Wrestler. And he and uh, Lee Moriarty, a few, few nights ago on collision, had an incredible one on one matchup that saw Shibata get the victory. And Moriarty would like to rectify that result here tonight. Dynasty Zero Hour. Hey, Scab, listen, 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 listen. Both those two men, Shibata oh, and Orange Cassidy, here by Moriarty. Both Shibata and Orange Cassidy have been laid out at the hands of STB in the last couple of weeks. Don't forget that, Excalibur. That's that's true. I mean, it was it was the shot from Shane Taylor that put Katsuyori Shibata out, allowed Moriarty to land the fang and, fang and get the win in that trios match. And he's lucky it wasn't my shot because my shot would not be competing tonight. I trust, pr promise you. So you're you're a heavier hitter, you feel, than than Shane. That's what you're saying. You don't you don't get given Olympic medals, Taz. You know that. No, I know. I'm just curious. You're saying you punch harder. That's what you're saying, Andy, right? You punch harder. power, middle weight speed. I hit people so hard, their insides bleed. I like that. That's catchy, and I believe you. And you can do that. So, but I just want to make sure you're saying that you hit harder than Shane Taylor, right? That's what you just said. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I'm saying that, Taz. I am but a fighter. Don't, I know you are. But isn't he gonna get upset? Listen, we have our we have our talents in short and short. Okay, Taylor, I respect and, that. Right. Well, it seems like Katsuyori Shibata has not forgotten about that right hand from Shane Taylor, asking on, for Shane. the big man to enter the ring. Well on, Lee. Good work, son. Let's go, Shane. Come on, son. Rumble, bad man. Rumble. Shane Taylor can trash talk. I can tell you that with the best of them. He backs up, Tony. Yeah, I'm, I'm we have. He, he may be the best trash talker we got. No sell Jones. Well, I'll tell you this. You gotta be careful trading chops with Shane Taylor. He is he can bring those chops. Oh, oh, the body. Oh. Oh. Straight to the bread basket. Have some of that son. Shane Taylor changing levels, but Shibata landing a shot of his own, but he may be compromised. And yeah, that one body Ooh. shot, it's Shibata is still hunched over here. That jab is like a ram Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was good. But Shabata coming in, two consecutive kicks. And now, going up inside of the thigh and then the outside. Chopping Shane Taylor down. And then the middle kick. Come on, Shane. You can't rely on just striking skills if you're Shane Taylor. You gotta be quick with a guy like the wrestler Shabata. He is at, at, as advertised. Now you don't earn that moniker by accident. It's Katsuri Shabata. Holding, <laughs> a version of an elbow drop, just a one count though for Orange Cassidy. That was more like elbow fall. That's how I used to drop an elbow. That's why you never see me do it on TV. <laughs> Moriarty sent to the outside. Watch out, Orange now. Cassidy. Elbow oh, from a seat on Moriarty. Driven spine first into our announce desk. And oh, come on, Lee. Cassidy now laying in the right hand. That guard up, Lee. Slip it, duck it, like I taught you, duck it, duck it. Oh. Uh, he's blocking it with his face, though. Two. Cassidy coming in to break the color. Oh, oh, to throw another right hand to John Lee Moriarty. And the, uh, talking about great punchers, here's another one, right? With the orange punch. Yeah, that orange punch. Yeah, is, oh, hold, hold on, on. Anthony, go though, see? Go -go. Look at the referee's Go -go. attention. Oh, there's a Katsuyori Shibata behind a go, go the uppercut, catching a go-go by surprise. That was great by Shibata to spot that from a go, -go getting out from the announce desk here. Yeah, because Orange Cassidy was going to get nailed. He had his, obviously had his back to him. And a go-go. Getting rocked by those uppercuts. Oh, brother. Look at that, just a blindside haymaker. Yeah, never saw that, and that, that was definitely a misdirection blind shot, side shot. And was, was that a go-go just playing a rope-a-dope, as it were, allowing Shane Taylor to get in position to hit, to hit Katsuyori Shibata with that, that right hand, and now Taylor, the big leg drop. No, that's what I'm talking about. Man, that's, 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 talking about. that's a lot of weight Easy landing one. on your chest. Shane Taylor Promotions using their numbers effectively here tonight as we take another look at that leg drop. Coming down right across the lungs of Orange Cassidy. Shane Taylor Promotions, the baddest team in professional wrestling. Well, certainly some effective teamwork from STP here tonight to take Katsuyori Shibata out of the match, at least temporarily. There's his pockets, right? There's his pockets, right? Oh, no. Oh, man, just, just an open target.
Man, that is just defenseless. Orange Cassidy defenseless. The hands in the pockets, the, the chop in the chest, and ringing out to the short, sold out Schaefer's Arena in St. Louis. The fans still filing in. And you see at the top of your screen, Dynasty going live in just under 37 minutes on Bleacher Report through traditional cable and satellite operators, Triller TV, PPV.com, YouTube.com as Moriarty looking for the cover there. Orange Cassidy able to kick out. That was smart by Moriarty to snap man go for a cover up quick because he knows Orange is hurting like hell from that chop. No, just a chop for don't forget on collision the left hook I drove into the sternum of Orange Cassidy. Mm. And fans internationally can join us on Troy TV, YouTube, PPV.com, yes. Sky, Foxtel, and look at this, Lee Moriarty sending Cassidy down the cover too. And Orange Cassidy able to kick out. I love the job by Cats to get out of all this. Ted, you're right, that one chop hurt him, and he's still staggering, but still was able to kick out of it. Yeah, he's resilient, obviously, Orange Cassidy, and he's trying to fight his way out of that corner to get to Shibata. And bro, <laughs> brother. Wow, that was nasty. Oh, oh another one. That yeah, measure. that speed, he popped the hips exactly like I taught him. And Shane Taylor, oh. dive at him, and Cassidy out of the corner. Now Lee Moriarty legal. Good job intercepting Cassidy. He's making the call towards Shibata. Yeah, he definitely got himself in between Orange and Shibata. But you could tell by Shibata's body language, he's not 100% after that big haymaker from Shane Taylor. The blind side shot by Taylor into Shibata. <laughs> How about that? And in comes Shibata, the high boot to the John Moriarty. One for Shane Taylor. And followed him closely. Hit that kick in the corner, now battering him down, the elbow strikes. Get the hands up, Lee. Katsuyori Shibata coming in with a drop kick. Shibata is just so complete. He can do everything, and everything well. I'll do it over. Nice back box, explosive hips on that throw. Shibata the lateral press, but Moriarty able to kick out. Front headlock suplex. Really good, low angled throw. It works now, abdominal stretch here. Shibata with the hold locked in, but Shane Taylor, mm. overhand chop to the back, and Shibata. So frustration there on the cuts of Shibata. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Man, Shane Taylor didn't see that one coming, obviously. That staggered him. Yeah, I think that was the heel of Shibata's hand to the jaw. <laughs> Get your hands up, Shane. Getting chopped and paid for us to the same time. And now Shibata and Orange Cassidy. Ratcheting up the intensity and double drop kicks in the corner. Come on, Lee. And Lee Moriarty, though, there still he is. a legal man in this match. And sent Shibata down. Wait, Orange Cassidy looking for beach break. But no, Moriarty with the wrist. Oh, my goodness. Did you, did you guys hear a snap? Yeah, he might have definitely yeah, dislocated those fingers. Oh, Stun Dog Millionaire. Cassidy doesn't need the fingers for that one. As Moriarty center of the ring, but Moriarty reverses. Drives down. Orange yes. Cassidy now Border City stretch. Blocking Orange is blocking. Yeah, Cassidy engaged in the hand fight. Cradle, cradle. The two count. Nice cradle by OC there. And now backslide here. Backslide. Cassidy had control of the wrist. He brings in Moriarty. Moriarty reverses. Good now, counter by Lee there. Yeah, great back and forth counters by both men as Moriarty. No. DDT spikes Moriarty. He can get a cover. Lee might be out right now. He landed hard on his head, Moriarty. Orange punch avoided by Shane Taylor. Oh, headbutt not avoided by Orange Cassidy. As double underhooks by Lee Mo oh, wait, excuse me, by Shane Taylor and a choke. Shibata. Oh my god, he got on. <laughs> Have you ever seen something no, like that? I don't think I have. Uh, <laughs> no, see, Orange Cassidy. Again, oh. Anthony Ogogo. Go. Oh, enough of this guy. Stay off commentary if he's really doing it. Oh, so. Well, he got what what yeah. for there, Taz. So now Shibata with that round kick. And now look at that flying knee right there. You know, by Lee Moriarty. Taz, now we know why. Why if they go go was out of here? Yeah, well definitely causing some havoc and now look at this back off European clutch there by Lee Moriarty and then crucifix there Cassie's got it in tight but Moriarty able to escape and Enzi Geary avoided Orange punch not avoided That might be it
The cover! And the win! No winner for this match. The team of Katsuyori Shibata and freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. I think it's great that they were bragging. Shane Taylor Promotions bragging about their punches, but it was a punch that sent them down. Yeah, it's definitely ironic. I agree with you there, Tom. Yeah, Orange Cassidy, he's used that orange punch. First on Shane Taylor to score of a, the win, and then on Lee Moriarty as sorry, well. Sorry about that. Hell of a tag team match for sure. A great back and forth bout as Dynasty Zero Hour rolls on here tonight in St. Louis. And fans, right now, let's go to a special message from our fans at DraftKings. AEW Dynasty is here. There is so much on the line, but you might be taking home a little something as well. Mm. Our friends at DraftKings are putting up $10,000 in a free-to-play pool during the main event of Dynasty, the AEW World Championship match between Samoa Joe and Swerve Strip. All you gotta do is answer some multiple choice questions like who's gonna win, will there be any outside interference, and who's gonna hit their signature moves first. Or which golden girl will Tony Schiavone reference on commentary? Definitely not a question. All you have to do is download the DraftKings app, use code AEW when signing up, and play for free during Dynasty. 10K in prizes, Joe versus Swerve. You don't want to miss it. No, you don't. Well, fans, we are just minutes away from Dynasty coming live on pay-per-view at the top of the hour. We've got one more match left in the zero hour, but we have a tremendous night of action in store on pay-per-view coming up in just over 30 minutes. And it will all culminate in tonight's main event. Samoa Joe looks to defend his AEW World Championship against top contender Swerve Strickland. The finals of the AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament, it will be a ladder match. And after tonight, either Matthew and Nicholas Jackson or FTR will be three-time AEW World Tag Team Champions. Kazuchika Okada looks to make his first defense of the AEW Continental Championship, but he's gonna have more than his work cut out for him with the bastard pack. Julia Hart, the dominant TBS champion, takes on her number one contender, Willow Nightingale. A lot of controversy surrounding these two women. And the house rules match. The rule is we will find out on pay-per-view. And speaking of the House of Black, Malachi Black, Buddy Matthews, and Brody King will take on Adam Copeland, Mark Briscoe, and Eddie Kingston in a big-time trios match. Former friends will meet in the AEW International Championship will be on the line. Kyle O'Reilly challenges the champion, Roderick Strong. It will be FTW rules in the FTW Championship match. The cold-hearted, handsome devil, Hook, puts his title on the line against Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Timeless Tony Storm looks to defend her AEW Women's World Championship against the woman that was never beaten for the title, Thunder Rosa. Plus, the long-time dream match. Will Ospreay, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever tonight. Let's take a look at this matchup. Will Ospreay is all elite. Ospreay is one of the most scintillating, state-of-the-art performers of his or any generation. One of the most dangerous professional wrestlers in the world. I am delivering some of the best professional wrestling matches this world has ever seen. Line up the best that you got because everyone here knows I'm about to show them all what I leave really looks like, bruv. I have been screaming down the lens to Japanese camera that I'm the best in the world. I'm here for a fight. I'm here to prove to everyone that I'm the best wrestler in the world. Danielson will back down from no challenge. Maybe you have something you want to ask me. Time is running out. If this is my last year, this will be the most epic of my career. I will not go gently into that good night. Danielson, Osprey, AEW Dynasty. Yes, bruv. You are Brian Danielson, a living legend in this game, son. Brian, you said 
words. I'm stronger than you, which I am. I'm faster than you, which I am. And the only way you have a chance is if you can ground the aerial assassin. Younger men have tried and failed. Better men have tried and failed. But yet, I cannot call myself the best wrestler in the world until after Dynasty. Until after I pin you in that ring. It's a big moment in wrestling. Everything I've always wanted to test myself against Will Ospreay. It's the greatest of all time versus the greatest wrestler of the 21st century. If you live 100 years, you'll never see anything like this again. It's not a match of the year. This is a match of the decade. The two best wrestlers on the planet. The best of the best hands I gotta ask who you got tonight. Well, it's a tough question. I mean, this thing could go either way. Both these guys are amazing. I mean, Danielson's career, decades of success. Osprey is just a freak of nature. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna lean towards Osprey. But I can change my mind in five minutes. You never know. Will Osprey's red hot right now. He is the hottest wrestler in all of wrestling. I'm going to Osprey. Well, fans, you can find out tonight as Dynasty airs live on pay-per-view just over 25 minutes away. You saw the code at the bottom of your screen. You can join us on Bleacher Report. You can join us through traditional cable and satellite providers, Triller TV, PPV.com, YouTube.com, in the U.S. and internationally on Triller TV, on YouTube.com, PPV.com, Foxtel, Sky, so many ways to join us for Dynasty coming your way at just over 25 minutes, but we still have one more match here on the Zero Hour. six-man titles, whatever you want to call them. But after this match, those titles will be unified into one, and one team will leave winner takes off. If you think momentum's important, then go back to last night on Collision when the uh, the Bang Bang game of the guns, if you will, defeated the acclaimed thanks to some uh, outside interference by the man you're looking at right there, Jay White. Yeah, switch play Jay White and pulling that, uh, that golden bat. And he pilfered from Darby Allen. Ah, pilfered, I love that word. Here we go. Their opponents are the AEW World Trails Champions, Dennis and the Acclaim. Yo! BC! Yo! Yo! It's the scissor guys from the six-man division. We'll hit you little pricks with that circumcision. In America, Jay White's an opening act. All the fans like, yo, nobody told me he's whack. I send you right back to Corrigan Hall. You like to choke on the mic? You can choke on these balls. It's the three-man dynasty running the game. In St. Louis, everybody loves the acclaim. And we're Come on, cut my music, cut my music. Yo. Yo. Yo! 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 Listen! Switchblade, you had to grow a beard. You got a kid's face. Looking like you hang outside of the sixth grade. Talking to these kids like I made you a mixtape. Your hype is all fake like the Donald Trump piss tape. Yo, I'll treat you like a light. Switch blades when I switch. I'll fulfill your fantasy and I'ma make you my bitch. Yo, this dude's just making me sick. 
I'll violate you so bad you'll have to tell the legal team about the taste of my dick. <laughs> Extended introduction for the AEW World Trios champions as the Ring of Honor World Six Man Champions wait at ringside. And remember, these titles will be unified into one. The unified AEW World Trios Championship to be decided in this match. That is, if the Bang Bang Gang ever get in the ring. Looks like Bowens and Switchblade Jay White. Well, a lot of high tension here, obviously, between these six men here. Because they used to have a bond and a friendship. And I like what Jay just did right there. Acting like he was going to go with Bowens, and he quickly tagged in Colton. I think that was smart. And fans, DraftKings is an official partner of AEW right now. All customers can join a free-to-play pool for the pay-per-view main event of Dynasty. Simply answer questions about the main event. You get enough right and earn your share of the prize. Don't look, download the DraftKings app now. Sign up with promo code AEW and play free with an official partner of All Elite Ref Wrestling. DraftKings, the crown is yours. I think, it, I think it's smart that Bowen started. And, and I say this because, obviously, Max Castro had a lot to say on the outside, and that can really get somebody pissed off. So you don't you want to maybe let uh, calmer heads prevail, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Nice shoulder block right there. Good speed built up by Bowens. But, yeah, no, I, I, you know, it is like, listen, you know if you're facing the acclaim, you're going to hear Cass is going to say some uh, outlandish crash stuff. Right. You know that. So you kind of, you know, Jay White's a smart guy. I don't think he's letting that red space in his head. Just my observation. Yeah, good call. I, I agree with that. Back body drop on Colton Gunn. Bowens takes him over at the side headlock. Slowing the pace down. As we have a capacity crowd on hand tonight for Dynasty Shape It's Arena in St. Louis. A tag right there, right, right now. Austin's legal. Fans still filing in, and Austin Gunn sweeping the leg of Anthony Bowens. There you see just under 20 minutes away for Dynasty live on pay per view. Oh, look at this. <laughs> His composure. Yeah. Here comes Big Bad Daddy. The composure changed completely. Daddy wants uh, Jay White in this thing here, see Shivani. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of times the antics and the outrageousness of the guns overshadows their ability because those kids can really wrestle, man. He can't. He just he got pulled by his dad. <laughs> yeah, it's all this trick in the game. He got some <laughs> headlock out of it. That was pretty good. Billy did help him up, so that's good pair. Yeah, that, uh, I agree. <laughs> Nice leapfrog there by Billy Gunn. Oh, got blocked on that. Big throw on that arm drag. Didn't work. Austin went for the arm drag, and now the hip toss. Oh, Austin lands on his feet. Good agility shown. As now Austin hurdles over the shoulder of his father, but didn't, God, didn't avoid that one. I've been hit by a Billy Gunn clothesline. I can tell you, it's not fun. The guy's got an arm like a telephone pole. I mean, it's insane. As now Colton and Austin. Hit, the, hit their father from behind, allowing Switchblade Jay White to tag in. Yeah, Billy here wanted a piece of Jay White, and again, Jay White being very, very savvy, waited till the beat was on until he got in there. Well, they broke into the house of Billy Gunn, right? Let's right. remember that. They right. broke into his house, meaning the guns. They did this. I mean, so of course, Billy he can't stand all three of them, including his two kids. That chop is nothing to blow your nose at. Whoa! A little snot Rocket Jones. I saw that. Yes. Billy striding out of the corner towards the center of the ring and turning things around on Switchblade Jay White. Wild swing and a miss. And Switchblade trying to get out of the range of Billy Gunn. And Jay using his quickness. Smart and savvy by Mr. White. I like that. And now Jay White tags in. I don't think Billy saw it as Colton is the legal man. I think okay. you're right. He did not see it. I know. Colton Gunn. 
Coming behind a shot. As if it's bad enough, you smash your dad. You hit him when he's not looking. Jeez. Fans here in St. Louis letting Colton hear it. Oh, that's nice. I mean, you, you, you gotta hug your son when he hugs you. You gotta. You get many hugs from your son? Sometimes. Oh! Yeah. I gotta watch that choke, though. Tag made as Max Caster now seeing his first legal action of the match. Right hand into the ribs of Colton Gunn. You see at the bottom of your screen, scan the QR code to join us for Dynasty at the top of the hour on Bleacher Report. Coming your way in just over 16 minutes. Scan the code at the bottom of your screen. Or you can join us through traditional cable and satellite providers on Triller TV, PPV.com, and YouTube.com in the United States. As Max Caster controlling the arm of Colton Gunn internationally, fans, you can join us on Triller TV, YouTube, PPV.com, Foxtel, and Sky in select international markets as Bowens, the neck breaker into the outstretched knees of Max Caster and the right hand for Switchblade Jay White. That was a haymaker. Sure. Yeah, you're not going to want to miss this dynasty pay for you, folks. I'm telling you, it will be insanely awesome. Guaranteed. Yeah, top to bottom tags. You're right. One of the best cards we've had. I mean, it's friggin' loaded. I mean, it's loaded. Any type of match you want is on dynasty coming up. And Bowens. Scissor me, Timbers. Billy may not be having any grandchildren after that yeah, one. Yeah, that's directly in the Yambag region. Well, if I had two sons like that, I'm not so sure I would want grandchildren. Oh! You know, the DNA stuff, right? Yeah, you got yeah. death on something. Exactly. Mess up. Oh, Caster. Awkward landing. He went over the top, over committing. And Austin Gunn. Um, Makes a quick tag hey, hey, out. out to switch way Jay White and telling our, our, uh, tell our timekeepers to watch out as he sent Caster into the barricade. Well, he didn't lie about it, Jay White. He kind of called the shot and did it. And I guess that kind of kept Caster's mouth shut after the stuff he was saying to White earlier. And remember, this match is title for titles. Both teams coming into this match with championships, but only one team will leave. That team will unify the AEW World Trios Championship. As oh. Switchblade, Jay White ripping the chest of Max Caster. And for those that didn't see it, Jay White did break the count for those that are obsessed with referees. You know, we talk so much and brag so much about the signings that we've had, like Osprey, like Okada, Mercedes Monet, but you got to put Jay White in that category as well. One of the great international stars now, part of AEW. Oh, that's no doubt about it. He's showing us why. Huge fan of Jay White. Yeah, tremendous ring general. And using uh, using his troops, using his allies, and Colton and Austin Gunn very effectively throughout this match. Austin now tagging that switchblade into this thing. That was odd, but it worked. Jay White just so dangerous with those chops. Yeah, he got great extension yeah, that time. I've said this before. It doesn't matter how much someone weighs or how tall they are. As far as chops go, it's a matter of quickness, hand size, using your hips with the, with the chop, meaning bringing your body weight forward. You know, it's not just, oh, a big guy can hurt more with a chop. That's a load of a malarkey, as they say. You know malarkey. I know malarkey. I've met him before, but it, it's kind of like a baseball pitchers, right? Some of the best fastball on this are not the biggest guys. Exactly. They use their hips. Oh, and right. Using his hips effectively to lean into those shots to take down Colton and Austin Gunn. Swing and a miss. Austin reverses, but gets reversed. Bowens accelerates in. Austin ducks underneath. And interception. Oh! Bowens! Big combination from Anthony Bowens. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. There you go. No more uh, shenanigans from Austin Gunn and Poppycock after that. <laughs> Popping everybody, no. I don't care. <laughs> oh, it's, it's daddy ass, not Poppy Cock. <laughs> <laughs> Bowens sent hard to the floor. Austin Gunn making the crawl, but nobody in the Bang Bang Gang corner. Yeah, that's right. Look at Austin. He's looking around like, where the hell is everybody? Austin needs help. There, Jay, finally. There. Oh, Jay White 
It's the tag. Unbeknownst to Bowens, he doesn't realize Jay is actually legal as oh, Bowens landed hard on that apron. Yeah, and then he landed hard on his shoulder, straight down on the mat. As Jay White well, yeah, getting referee Stefan Smith to back off Max Caster as Bowens face first. Man, that's a lot of pain right there for Bowens. Jeez. Remind the fans how important this match is once again. This is title for title. Yeah, we're going to unify. Oh, cover here by Jay White, very nearly unifying the AW World Trios Championship there. The fans still filing into the Chaffetz Arena in St. Louis. We are sold out tonight oh, yeah. for Dynasty on pay per view. Without the Chaffetz Arena, it's going to be jam packed in a little bit. Jay White again using those chops. Jay White really. Carrying the load for the team of the Bang Bang Gang, much like I am here at the desk. It's all right, you guys have fun. Just we'll get warmed up. We just get warmed up. You know, you know I was told, and I, I've talked to a lot of fans, and say, you know, you get announcers seem like you're having a lot of fun. We do. We have fun. We love wrestling. We love calling this. We put up with you, Excalibur. It's all of that. Thanks, Dave. Well said. Oh, look at this. Bang Bang Gang staying out of the the reach of Anthony Bowens, and then Jay White setting up Bowens for that kick to the ribs as Austin Gunn. Smart, very smart by Austin right there as Calvin. He knows Bowens has just been getting worn out. So what does he do? He keeps him in the middle of the ring, locks him down with a rear chin lock. Good strategy. As Bowens, though, may have the opportunity here. But no. Austin tried to try to cut him off with Bowens. You can see the fatigue setting in. Trying to make, get there. Yeah, make that slow crawl of the corner, but now Austin still trying to grind him out with that side headlock. Bowens. An explosion of strength there, but great job by Anthony. He's got to get Caster or Billy Gunn in this thing here. You get Bowens down, you've done a hell of a job. He's got such endurance. He is such an athlete. And he's doing all he can to get in the, the corner right now. And Bowens breaks free of the grip of Austin Gunn. Uh-oh. And now, Billy Gunn throwing some bombs into the face of the Bang Bang Gang. Big Daddy S throwing haymakers. Just picking them off, man. They're all running at him and going down. Whoop. Big on Jay White. And Austin oh. sent over the top now. Colton Gunn. And the receiving end of the splash in the corner. Boot to the midsection. Oh, don't say it about this. This is your son here. What the hell? Jeez, Billy. Really? <laughs> Crazy. Swing and a miss and wait. The one and only on Austin Gunn. But look at this. Oh, famous sir by Colton Gunn. Coming from behind. The cover. Two. And no. Billy Gunn able to kick out. I guess Billy is regretting ever teaching his son his own stuff right there. Billy almost got beat by Colton. And you see the bottom of your screen, the QR code for Dynasty coming your way in less than 10 minutes on Bleacher Report. Scan the code to join us on BR as they're looking for the 310 to Yuma there was the, the guns, but now over the top goes Bowens Caster, the backhand. Was the acclaim have in mind? Well, everybody is kind of spent this match, man. They have really gone at it hard. And Austin just throwing his body, sending both Bones and Cast. Watch out! Watch out from behind! Oh, man. Jay oh. White using the bat, and referee Stephon Smith didn't see it. Oh, he did not. Right across the spine with that bat. What a shot. There there go. Go. 3 10 to Yuma! They're going to get, they're going to beat their dad. With the bat again. One, two, three. No! The Bang Bang Gang thought they unified the AW World Trios Championship, but Billy Gunn had other ideas. And I'll tell you what, I guess dude almost left, pulled downs with the whole rack, although she has really helped Billy Gunn there. Absolutely, you don't become a legend in wrestling for nothing, man. That was an impressive kick out by Daddy S. But how much more does Billy Gunn have in the tank? I mean, you can't take many shots like that. And the acclaim is on the outside, Excalibur. Well, looks like Bones. Yeah, he made himself his way to this. I think passed her, too. Oh, now Austin oh. Colton sent to the outside. Jay White standing alone. Yeah, tables have been turned now, numbers-wise. Oh, wow. Big commendation by the acclaimed. Some pick. 
Owens really got Jay White with that kick right in the grill. And now Caster takes down Colton Gunn. Caster sent to the outside by switch play Jay White. Bowens trying to fight off Austin Gunn, but Nage plants Anthony Bowens. And Billy Gunn just, just coming too. As, could he be thinking a sleeper suplex on Billy Gunn? His hips are already under Billy. Oh, well, his hips don't matter now. The power of Billy Gunn. Look at the arms on Billy Gunn. New to that midsection by Billy the Famouser. Mike drop from Caster. And Caster elevates over. It's called one, two, no! Everybody's giving their best shot, and this match still goes on. I mean, remember, both sets of titles are on the line. The AW World Trails Championship, Ring of Honor, World Six Man Championship. This is to unify those titles into one. As Billy Gunn looking for another famous, or no? Jay White avoids it. Switchblade afforded by Billy. Roll up one, two, and Jay White. Good kick out. Good explosion. Switchblade, Jay White, Colton, and Austin Gunn unifying the AEW World Trios Championships. Two titles have become one right before our eyes. That was a huge moment right there. What a victory for Bullet Club Gold. Man, that, man, that thing could have went either way. Belts are unified. That's a lot of gold and silver right there. Whoa. You know, we've talked about what a, what a great, what a great defensive wrestler Switchblade Jay White is. Tremendous time and tremendous instincts, Taz. He he felt for the moment that Billy Gunn was weakest, and he landed that Blade Runner. Yeah, because Billy had him. He countered at first, but then he caught, got caught, Billy did. And there you go. You have the titles are unified. Bullet Club gold. They got the gold. Wow. Well, new champions crowned, new titles unified, the AEW World Trios Championship, but our main event for tonight on Dynasty starting in just under five minutes. Our main event will be all about the AEW World Championship. Samoa Joe looking to defend against the top ranked Swerve Strickland. Samoa Joe, I'm coming for you. I'm going to defeat you for that AEW World Championship that I promise. I'm about to tell this man the truth. Making a lot of promises to these good people that you will never keep. You're not that man. The road to getting here, we can date back all the way to World's End. From this point on, our time will never be wasted again. Swerve Strickland is not the man that he claims to be, and I am the man that he wishes to be. Letting people know that, like, hey, my time is valuable. I am valuable to all elite wrestling. I'm not playing anymore. 2024 is where things get direct. No subliminal sh is direct, and I'm standing on that. I'm taking this from this. Signing this contract swerve is doom and destruction. Take nothing from me. <laughs> That's all you got. It is a career defining mistake to step into the ring with me right now. Our motivations are for something bigger than me. And that's history. Samoa Joe and Swerve Strickland for the AW World Championship. You are the definition of a killer. The magnitude of this match. But so am I. Dynasty, I show you that I am every bit of that. Whose house? Damn. Whose house? Whose damn house? Will it be Swerve's house tonight in St. Louis, or will the dominance of Samoa Joe continue? And we will crown the first ever AEW World Tag Team Champions, three-time champions tonight in the ladder match when Matthew and Nicholas Jackson take on FTR. Kazuchika Okada looks to make his first defense of the AEW Continental Championship when he takes on the bastard pack. 
and Julia Hart of the House of Black will put her TBS Championship on the line against Willow Nightingale. And speaking of the House of Black, they will face the team of the TNT champion Adam Copeland, Mark Briscoe, and Eddie Kingston tonight on Dynasty. Former friends, now bitter rivals, Roderick Strong puts his AEW International Championship on the line against Kyle O'Reilly. Plus, it will be FTW rules tonight in St. Louis. The cold-hearted, handsome double, Hook, puts his FTW Championship on the line against Lionheart, Chris Jericho. And the AEW Women's World Championship up for grabs. Timeless, Tony Storm looks to make the fourth defense of her, fourth, of her third reign against a woman that was never beaten for the title in Thunder Rosa. Plus the highly anticipated dream match. The American Dragon versus the Aerial Assassin. Brian Danielson, Will Ospreay, one on one for the first time ever. And that is coming up in just a few moments when we go live with Dynasty on pay-per-view. You have still a few moments to join us. You can visit Bleacher Report. Go through the BR app, scan the code at the bottom of your screen. We'll have JR on the call for the opening contest. We'll have Taz on the call. We'll have myself. So many ways to join us in the US. You can join us via Triller TV through traditional cable and satellite providers, ppv.com and youtube.com in the United States. Also, internationally fans, you can visit Triller TV, youtube.com, ppv.com, Foxtel, and Sky around the world. Dynasty is coming your way live in just a matter of moments. You have no excuse. You have to join us. This is going to be an epic night of action. There you see epic code at the bottom of your screen for Bleacher Report. Scan it. Join us for Dynasty. We are sold out in St. Louis. We will love to have you, and we guarantee you will love what you see coming your way on pay-per-view. We are just seconds away. Join us live next for Dynasty. Sold out in St. Louis, live on pay-per-view. We will see you there.